if you take 125 dollars and save it it can add up over time to six thousand dollars let me show you how Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video. Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this content because there may be someone that can use this video also. And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. I wanna say thank you for being here and welcome to everyone. And like I said, if you take $125, which is a small amount of money, and put it aside, it can add up over time. And the goal for this savings challenge, which is savings challenge number five that I do on Fridays, it is to save $6,000 throughout the year of 2024. Now, when I first thought about it, I thought, oh, $6,000. That seems like a whole, whole lot of money, but if you just take small amounts of money and add it and save it, it can add up. You know what, if we really sat down and looked at all the money that we spend and waste, we probably have wasted that much within a year. I mean, if you count all the pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, everything that we spend money on that we didn't need, you know, eating out, shopping, going to Starbucks, I, you know, I saw an ad or a video where this someone was saying their girlfriend spent seven dollars at um, Starbucks for coffee. Now, I understand if you like coffee, but I'm sure there's coffee that probably tastes just as good. A package may cost that much, and you can make your own coffee. Now, I'm not saying anything against Starbucks. I'm not a coffee drinker, but you know, we need to find ways to live on less than what we make. Don't spend up all our money. Stop shopping, stop eating out. And we could save $125. And this savings challenge, what we're doing is saving $125 every week throughout the year 2024. And the way I saw it is if we save $1,500 every three months, four times a year, it would equal up to $6,000, okay? And I also wanna add, when we're saving this money in our home, which I good, think is good to have money at home because cash is king, in case the bank is closed, in case the bank is closed down, in case the network is down and we have an emergency or we need to get to this money, we can have a way to get to it. Just make sure we keep it in a secure location that's waterproof, fireproof, and theft proof. Okay? Go on, Am uh, not Amazon, go on YouTube and put in the search for best waterproof, fireproof, theft proof safes and all tons of videos will come up and all kind of videos will come up to let you know which will be the best safe for you okay so what we have for this video for this savings challenge we're going to need 125 dollars okay it doesn't have to be 120 it could be all 20s and five whatever but this is what i'm using okay and this is what we also need this is a notebook that i created now i could have went out. I could have bought a, a cash stuffing binder off of Amazon, uh, Timu, Etsy, all those different places. But um, I just, you know, I like to make things. So I thought, let me see what I can c c 
created on my own. Okay? Let's see if that'll work. Okay, this is the notebook that I got out of Dollar Tree, and this is not a sponsored video. And right now, school supplies are in, and that's when I bought this last year in September, or I forgot when, no, it might not be September, but last year when school supplies were in. And these are pencil pockets, pockets that you keep pencils in. And it fit in this notebook perfectly. And I had to go get some fasteners from Walmart, which were longer than the fasteners that were in here because it would not hold all of this. Okay? So in these pockets, oh, this one's 100s, 50s, 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s. Okay? All right. <laughs> okay, y'all see I'm trying to hear everything get done. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you all the money that I've been adding. So if you're doing this savings challenge, drop me in the comment and let me know if you're doing this. Somebody let me know in the comments the other day that they have their binder. Now, I started this in January 2024, and this year is halfway gone. You know, we're August. So, if you want to try to catch up, <laughs> if you haven't been doing this, you can either just start now, or either just, you know, I'm gonna do this again in uh, 2025 also. So, if you want to just try to catch up, you can. Okay. Okay, so these are the $100 bills that I've saved since 2024. And I'm going to add another $100 bill. Okay. Oh. You know, when I have this calendar that I add these emoji stickers on that show me what I've done. And I didn't know that this calendar ended in July. I'm like, and I have been putting the emojis for August on 2023. I didn't even realize that this was 2023. <laughs> so anyway, but I saw the mistake. So I had this planner too. I got this one last year, so I went on ahead and these are the dates for August that I put 125. So, oh, I tell you. So today is August 23rd, Friday, August 23rd. So we're going to add our emoji sticker on here. I use this pretty, you should color, see, for the 100. And it's, you know, that I put a $100 bill in here. And then I use this pretty blue one. See? For the 20. And I'm out of the emoji sticker. So for that bronze color that I use for the five out bill. So I just, these were hearts. And that's the color I put on there for the five out bill. All right. Okay, then I'll write $125 here. And I think it'll be either Saturday or Sunday I'm gonna do a big reveal on all the savings challenges of everything that I've saved for 2024. Okay, so now, okay, I showed you the hundreds. These are the, I'm getting ahead of myself. These are the 50s, can you see that's a $50 bill? Okay, and, These are the 20s. Okay, see? Let me see, that's the 20. And I'm adding this 20. Now, the reason I chose these pencil pockets because I wanted something that was out of sight, out of mind. I wanted, I didn't want the clear was because I didn't want to have to see in the money. And, that, and it really helps. I don't touch this money. I don't use this. This money is not for shopping. It's not for, it's not even for bills. Okay. And here's the tens. Can you see that's a 10? 
Okay. Oh man. And here are the fives. Okay. And I'm adding this five dollars. Okay. Now I've already added my emoji stickers for this. Okay. All right. Drop me a comment and let me know. Oh, I forgot to show you the ones too. Drop me a comment and let me know if you're doing this. Somebody did leave me a comment the other day letting me know that they got their binder. So, that's wonderful. I'm doing these videos to encourage, and these are the ones, to encourage and motivate someone to start saving if they're not. And I thought $6,000 was a good goal. That's what I thought. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know. Okay, like I said, this year is I'm, I remember when I started this, it was like, okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. If we're gonna be consistent. And I've been consistent. Okay, so is that all I have for you all? Did I tell y'all my channel was ch changing? Did I tell you that? Just in case I didn't. This is my uh, channel here. I'm changing the name. I can't remember if I told you or not. But it's going to be in September. I'll, see, I'll just say that just in case I didn't tell you. Okay, so that's all I have for you all today. Oh, I forgot to um, take some money out so I can say happy savings. <laughs> okay, so thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. I hope this video is helpful. And I hope you got great value out of it. I'll see you and catch you in the next video. And happy savings.